I've always been like an underdog. When I go to the pro day, I just want to like blow that all out of the water. You're working hard for like a once in a lifetime sort of shot. You can't slip up. You got to have your best day in every aspect. They're not going to come back again next year and try it again. What they put into 60 or 90 days has a lot riding on it. Had a boy. Back is flat. I like it. Former Northern Illinois offensive lineman Jordan Steckler and Minnesota State offensive lineman Evan Heim grew up in Packer country. When the Northeast Wisconsin natives decided to pursue careers in the NFL, they turned to Synergy Sports Performance in Hobart to help them prepare for their pro days. I got to know the staff and uh, really liked, you know, Scotty and I felt comfortable with them really, really like right away. Four, nice. And then I also talked to my old teammate, Max Sharping. He's worked out here a lot throughout high school, and he said, like, you know, like, yeah, these guys are the best you'll find anywhere. Why is that feeling during this process important, that feeling of knowing that you felt comfortable in the hands of somebody? It's kind of nice, you know, not only knowing they know what they do as far as, you know, from the athletic side of things, but uh, also, like, they have the best interest in you, even when you're maybe not even here anymore, you know, still keeping in touch and trying their best to always, you know, be there for you. Your hardcore part of the week is your Monday through Friday. We break stuff down by different days. Some days have a more of a lower body focus. Some days more of an upper body focus. Keep it going. There you go. Get them. Get them. Come on. Get them. On some of those morning sessions, two to three days a week, we will actually focus on just the drills. So the 5, 10, 5s, broad jumps, verticals, pro agility, and work on training things specifically to get those timed down. We're in that wheelhouse of the angle, that's exactly what I want. We work on the first phase of just the first turn and getting out of that quick. We rarely ever run a full one. The little tiny things to make your times a little bit faster and just really knock like your pro day out. Obviously we do combine training, but I've never been a big fan of doing it because everything that they're preparing for right now for these next three months is all stuff that they're never gonna ask to do once they're signed as an undrafted free agent or they're drafted. They're then going to switch modes and start doing football specific drills. I like to add that skill component to it and just general athletic mobility. Two to three times a week, they'll work with one of my offensive line guys. They'll do some classroom sessions with them, learning and studying. And then they'll also do some on-field technique work. Most coaches, they probably just yell at you and we keep doing the drill. I, can, I have time to teach you guys why you're not doing it right. Their ability to tailor each plan based on the different athlete is also a big part of why I like, you know, I chose here. We just have me and Jordan and they can focus a lot of time and energy just on us. When it does suck sometimes, like you have somebody else to have it suck with. Very nice, very nice. Looking out in front, looking out in front. They're usually here anywhere from three to five hours a day, depending on what their schedule looks like. I think a lot of people just think you just work out for like an hour or two a day and then that's it. I'm here for a long time and just doing the recovery stuff, like sitting in the recovery boots or getting massages, seeing the chiropractor, like it all kind of like blends in. We want some sort of a rest and recovery day in there and we're typically doing that on Saturdays for them. It's a lot of the nutrition, a lot of the recovery. Uh, yeah, some yoga, you know, massage, sports, like sports massage, things like that. It is really a full-time job. 